Well, well, talk about your hallmark moments. Bonnie and Clyde, sweet. I've been looking forward to today. Why is that, Danny? You have a death wish? Because I still have faith in the system. If not, it's so-called members. Ooh, you're hurting my feelings. Oh, uh, Father, you should pray for them. Yeah, you're gonna need to fumigate yourself. So, we ready to get the show on the road? Me. No, I can't change my mind. Come on, let's go inside. Yeah. yeah. Your Honor, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen of the jury, our case is simple. What we intend to prove is that the defendant, Daniel Santos, with malice and forethought, killed his mother, Carmen Santos. We intend to prove that he committed this cowardly act in an effort to gain control of the power, the money, and the direction of the Santos crime family. We are here to talk about a gun and a body. A body that was coldly weighted down with chains and dumped in the lake. That's what this son did to his mother. We're here to talk about someone who wanted to take his family in a new direction. And when his old school mother objected, he simply murdered her. Danny Santos killed his mother as a culmination of a life of continual violence. In his impatience to rise to the top of a blood-soaked ladder of success, nothing, not even his own mother, was going to stand in the way. Now, the defense will try to portray Mr. Santos as a family man, a doting father. But how often Mr. Santos changes a diaper isn't really the issue. No, the issue we must concern ourselves with is why the ballistics test revealed that the gun this family man had in his nightstand was a perfect, let me repeat that, perfect match for the murder weapon. Counselor, perhaps you'd like to leave a little something for the trial. Uh, yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> and believe me, we have plenty. Your opening remarks. Your Honor, I am reserving my opening statement for a later time. Thank you. He's finally lost it. What is he doing? It doesn't make sense. Are you sure about that, Mr. Marler? Yes, Your Honor, I am. Uh, I have nothing for the court at this particular time. You haven't forgotten that this is a capital case, Counselor. Uh, no, Your Honor, I'm well aware of it. So you just thought you'd reserve your opening remarks for a later time? Uh, yes, sir, exactly. <laughs> Perhaps another cup of coffee, Counselor? I think I've had enough, Your Honor, but thank you. I'm in for me. Five-minute recess. so far. You trust me, don't you? Yeah, I do. What's going on? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, I do. Agent Nitoro, you've been investigating the Santos crime family for how long? Objection! It is not the Santos crime family. It is the Santos family, and they are not on trial, and it has never been established that any member of that family ever Stop. committed a crime. Miss Wolf, rephrase. Very well, Your Honor. <clears throat> Agent Ituro, how long have you been investigating the activities of the Santos family? A little over four years. 
In fact, this prosecution is a direct result of information that you gathered during that investigation. Correct, yes. During routine surveillance of the defendant's residence, we heard conversations about the death of his mother that did not correlate with the supposed chain of events, and that led to an investigation into the death of Carmen Santos. Briefly, what evidence did you find? Well, that Carmen Santos didn't die when she was shot, but with the help of accomplices, that she uh, managed to fake her own death. But you're sure now that she is dead. How? Oh, well, we found her body at the bottom of the lake with a bullet in her from the gun of Danny Santos in her corpse. What led you to search the bottom of the lake for the remains of Carmen Santos? Uh, we got an anonymous tip, and the divers discovered the body at the bottom of the lake. We made a positive identification of that body through dental records and actual jewelry on the body. And the bullet? That was uh, recovered during the autopsy. Since the defendant just let his mother rot at the bottom of the lake, we were only left with skeletal remains, and we found the bullet lodged in a bone. Counselor, any objection to the characterization? No, not really. I do find the witness to be exceedingly prejudicial, but then again, I'm sure the jury is troubled by that as well. well. I object to defense counsel's characterization of this public servant as anything but impartial. Ms. Wolf, I don't think you can be objecting to my refusal to object. <clears throat> Your Honor. Move it along, Ms. Wolf. Agent Itoro. You have a body that has been identified as the remains of Carmen Santos. You have a bullet from the defendant's weapon. Is there any doubt in your mind that Danny Santos murdered his mother, Carmen Santos? None whatsoever. Is there any evidence of any kind pointing to any other suspect in this case? None. Danny Santos shot his mother in cold blood. Thank you. Your witness. Special Agent Gus I. Toro, you're in charge of this investigation, correct? Correct, yes. And every aspect of the case? Every aspect, yes. Now, you're aware that uh, I know a couple of people at the FBI, so correct me if I'm wrong, but when the FBI works with local law enforcement, isn't it customary that they reserve certain details for a local liaison? Yeah, no, yes, but not me. I personally like to double-check. I triple-check everything myself. I take responsibility for all the evidence. So you're totally in charge? Correct, yes. The buck stops with Gus Aitoro? Absolutely. Uh, yes, the buck stops right here. Excellent. No further questions? Your Honor, if it pleases the court, this witness is subject to recall. The witness may step down. Thank you, Your Honor. He had his uh, field defending a lost cause. you, but I'm having a pretty good day. Medical examiner for how many years? A dozen years, uh, six before as assistant. And could you please describe the body that was presented to you for autopsy on June 6th of this year? Uh, well, there wasn't much to work with. The body was totally decomposed, but an examination of the skeletal remains made it clear it was a woman, most likely early 40s. Well, not just likely, unless I'm mistaken. No, you're not mistaken. The key to the ID for us was the dental records. The comparison we made was a perfect match right down to the fillings. No question, the body found was that of Carmen Santos. Thank you. Your witness. Your Honor, I have no questions for this witness. The witness may stand down. 